So you've created a strong and complicated password for your computer, but what good is that strong and complicated password if you're not protecting yourself by using a screen locker? That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about this suckless utility called Slock. It is Suckless's Simple X Display Locker. Now if I go over to the browser, I'm just going to briefly read the blurb at the top of the screen here for Slock. Quote, this is the simplest x screen locker we are aware of. It is stable and quite a lot of people in our community are using it every day. So sounds good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the source code for Slock. I'm going to install it and try it out. I grab the source code and it's in my downloads directory. So let me CD into the Slock directory here. If I do an ls, you will see that's the source code. And if we want to check it out, yeah, as is without any configuration or anything. Let's just do a sudo make install. And it built just fine. And if I just run the command slock, we get an error. It says slock get grnam. I'm assuming get group name. Probably we, we have to set a user and a group here because I mean it's a display locker. It's an X display locker. What user are we locking out? of that X display it should be of course my username and my group so let's get into the source code so let me open up the config.def.h and yeah you will see the very first couple of lines here is asking for user and group so who are we dropping privileges to so yeah for my case it would be my username which is dt and then the user group for dt which is also dt let me write and quit Let's do a sudo make install. Actually, if I do an ls right now, you will see we have a config.h in here because we did that previous sudo make install. Let's remove the config.h. And now let's sudo make install again. Now let's run slock. And this is slock. It's just a simple X display locker, right? All it does is lock the screen. It turns the screen black when slock is invoked. Now if I start typing, as soon as I type the first character, the screen turns blue to let me know I'm typing. Let me finish typing my password, and if I hit enter, the screen unlocks. Now let me run slock one more time, and this time I'm going to type the wrong password. And hit enter. Ah, the screen turns red to let me know that was not the right password. So I start typing again, the screen turns blue. And if I hit the right password, if I enter the right password, of course, we are allowed back into our system. Now that's pretty simple, right? Uh, but you know, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could go and grab a few patches for Slock. Matter of fact, why don't we do that? I'm just going to go into the patches and I'm just going to grab some random stuff that I think might be interesting. Uh, the very first patch says caps color introduces an additional color to indicate the state of the caps lock. That's very important because it would be very frustrating if you had your caps lock key on and you were trying to type your password and you, you know, you kept getting a not the right password kind of error. So let's go ahead and apply that one. So I'm going to save that and let me also any other patches that jump out at me. Oh, message. Oh, we can add a custom message to slock. Yeah, I'm going to grab that diff as well. So let me save that link. Any other ones? Uh, unlock screen. What does this one do? This patch keeps the screen unlocked, but it keeps the input locked. Uh, I, I see what it's saying. So instead of getting a solid color, blue or red or black, you know, the screen actually won't change. <laughs> like it'll still be you know, like if I had my terminal open, my terminal and all would still be on the screen. You could see the screen, but the input is locked out, meaning my mouse and keyboard are not actually going to do anything to the display until I type the correct password. That's kind of cool, but you know what? That, that's not for me. I would prefer to know that my screen is locked. If it's locked, I would rather it actually change to a solid color rather than still look the same. So I'm, I'm not going to do that patch. I'm just going to keep the two patches I downloaded, the caps lock and the message patch. If I get back to the terminal here, let me clear the screen here. I'm going to do an LS. And you will see those two diffs that I just downloaded, slock, caps lock color, and slock message. So let's run the patches. So if I do a patch space dash P1, and then the less than sign, that's the left pointing chevron, and then slock dash, let's do the caps lock color diff first. The automatic patching worked just fine. And then let's go ahead and do the slock dash message diff. And that patch worked fine with the automatic patching. Then the only thing we need to do, let's remove our config.h. And then of course we need to sudo make install. It built just fine. Let's run slock. 
and we had the caps color patch. So if I turn on the caps lock, the screen turns red to warn us, hey, dummy, your caps lock key is on. Let me turn the caps lock key off. Now the screen still stays red with the caps lock key off. But if I start typing, it turns back to blue to let me know I'm actually typing. And if I type the right password, of course, it lets me back in. Now you guys didn't get to see the message that also popped up because I wasn't recording the right monitor, but I've changed the scenes here in OBS to record the monitor with the message. So if I do SLOCK one more time, and I hit the caps lock key, watch what happens. The screen turns red, but we have a message now in the middle of the screen. The message says, SUCKLESS, software that sucks less. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> and I still got the caps lock key on. I like how it turned it even brighter red to let me know, hey, dummy. All right, <laughs> it finally let me back in. Now, if we wanted to change the message, I'm sure we could. If I get back into the config.def.h, you will see suckless software that sucks less. We could change that message if I really wanted to. I'm going to leave it for now, but what I really want to change is the font size. That font size was incredibly small. And you can see the font is set right here. The font size is set 6 by 10. Now, for some of you that haven't been around that long, you're going to wonder why the hell is the font size 6 by 10. It's because back in the day, you know, back in the old school days, early days of X, most people used fixed width fonts. So you actually had these weird font sizes like 6 by 10 and you know 8 by 13. And you know the biggest one I remember that was kind of common was 9 by 15, I think was a common size for those fixed width fonts. So let me change to 9 by 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove our config.h. And then, of course, let's see if we can sudo make install. That works. And then let's run slock. And if I hit the caps lock key to bring up the error message, basically, you see, suckless, software that sucks less, but the font is uh, much more readable now though, because six by 10 was an extremely small font size. Let me turn the caps lock key back off and get back into the system. So that was just a very quick look at Slock, and I, I really couldn't go much more in depth with Slock. There's not much to it. All it does is lock the screen. It is very suckless in nature and I think they just hit it out of the park with this tool because it really follows the Unix philosophy. Do one thing, do one thing well. Some of you guys are going to ask about how do you set slock to launch after a certain period of inactivity. You know, maybe you don't want to always launch slock manually like I did by either hitting a key binding or entering slock in a run command launcher. Well, you can set that up if you have X auto lock installed on your system. You basically run this command with X auto lock. X auto lock dash time space and then the number, the timeout period, for example, 10 is the example here, I guess for 10 minutes, and then the flag dash locker space slock. I actually don't have X auto lock installed on my system. I typically don't have my screens auto lock on me. If I want to lock my screen, I, I just manually do it. I, I'm at my computer <laughs> hours at a time anyway. And sometimes you know, there is periods of inactivity and I don't want it to lock. You know, I'll just lock it when I leave. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Mitchell, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, LibreQuest, Omri, Paul, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Slock, the Simple X Display Locker, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all these fine ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen right now. This is all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys the community. If you'd like to support my work, consider doing so. You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.